Well, good day and hello. I hope this video is finding you in good health and in good spirits. Today, I want to take a look at Justice Samuel Alito of the U.S. Supreme Court and his absolutely disgraceful behavior, not to mention his piss poor attitude. I am, of course, talking about the news that has broken that at Justice Alito's residence in January 2021, uh, less than two weeks after the insurrection at the Capitol, the Alito family decided that it was appropriate to fly a U.S. flag in an upside down, in an inverted position. This, of course, is an international sign of distress, but it's also something that was uh, co-opted by the insurrectionists and the Stop the Steel Brigade. So he certainly, and particularly at that time, flying the U.S. flag in an inverted position was indicating your political support behind the insurrectionists and behind those people who are making claims that the election was stolen and that the presidency isn't legitimate, etc. This is in a household of a Supreme Court justice who is going to be hearing those very cases. For those of us who grew up with some belief that there should be some decorum and some impartiality and being above the political fray at a Supreme Court justice's this is a bitter pill to swallow. And I've got to admit, I mean, I'm not American, but I grew up having been, well, dragged up right, is that you treat the courts and you treat the judiciary with a certain amount of deference and certainly uh, respect that is due to their institutional position in society. Where would we be without proper court systems, right, that adjudicate on matters of fact and not on personal um, issues. So, yeah, this is, I think, is even worse than his fishing trips, paid by somebody else, to Alaska, you know, the fly-in, fly-out, very wealthy. Once again, like Justice Thomas, Justice Alito is under the impression that because he has an esteemed position on the court, that he's entitled to damn near anything that he wants. And he is accountable to nobody. Well, he knows that he's a Supreme Court justice. He doesn't have to answer to anybody. Um, and he's very bitter about it. You see some of the ideas, the ideas that he and the court would come under criticism by the plebes is just a little more than he can stomach. So, want to take a look at this and a question for the cards. Is anybody ever going to hold Justice Samuel Alito to account and to task for how he has behaved and what the damage that he has done to the reputation of the court? So we're using the Trash Panda Tarot by Jennifer Starling Ducart. Lovely deck. I needed something light because this topic I find very, very upsetting. I'm very emotional about it. And I'll try and keep it calm. Signifier. We have the Nine of Pentacles in a reverse position. This is a card that is about materialism and envy. That's an interesting way to open up a uh, reading on a judge that you have a reason to believe is corrupt as hell. And it is crossed by the devil. And this is, again, control. Well, he likes to be in control. And the excesses of his office. Again, materialism. Very negative. Very deviant. Very deviant, and this man is a deviant, full on. The normal social ex, you know, 
expectations of the behavior of a Supreme Court justice is not flying flags of those who have tried to destroy your government. Period. Oh yes, I know. His wife did it. In the past. We have the lovers. This is a card that is, yeah, of course, about love and that sort of stuff. But more importantly, what it is really about is about choices. And he has made absolute choices that he is going to behave this way. He has somehow rationalized that his materialism, and remember those opening two cards in this reading on the signifier section, both come back to materialism. He's made choices that he's entitled to this and he is going to do it. And of course, there's no consequences attached to his actions, so who's going to stop him? In the future, we have Page's Swords. And Page's, of course, are about the new energy. Often they bring good news and that sort of stuff. But the Page of Swords, we're talking about someone who's very committed to the truth, um, communicates it with enthusiasm. Has a curiosity, like, what the hell's going on here? That's the Page of Swords. I wonder what that is. That's the Page of Swords at work. In the sky of the reading. So that's kind of the overarching energy. That's what we've got sort of incoming. That's what we can look forward to the goals of the reading. And we have the tower. And the tower, of course, is a card that's both chaos and calamity and disaster and revolution and disruption and boom, things going. Things going. And yes, this has been the United States Supreme Court has uh, su suffered such public reputational loss that it's not even funny. They are looked down, down upon by American society, great swath of it. There is very little respect left for the court. Thank you, Chief Justice John Roberts, for not friggin' grabbing onto it. And the justice courses. All of them are very slow at taking up things like, you know, ethics. It's not going to get better. And this kind of behavior out of Alito, who is not recusing himself from all of these January 6th trial matters. For, you know, same thing with Justice Thomas, who is not recusing himself from the fact that his wife was involved in planning the coup in the foundation of the reading we have the ten of cups and it's in a reverse position ten of cups when it's reversed this is about disharmony and this is about dysfunction and yes there is a great deal of disharmony because we've got a two, at least two justices who are not practicing law but are practicing ideology and they have a, a you know, the conservatives have a majority in the court, sort of a super majority. It's, it's six to three. Although Amy Barrett sometimes, you know, kind of crosses the line and, and votes on the side of righteousness as opposed to ideology. Um, <clears throat> message from spirit. We have the Empress, but she's in a reverse position. The Empress reverse. Insecure. Dependency. Lack of fertility like lack of creative ideas lack of uh contributions that you're going to go it's this very kind of clingy uh, i deserve you know quite frankly if you're in the legal profession and you want to be making the big bucks like you want the high income then you go to wall street or you work in some of these big you don't work in public service part of what a justice gets paid is social respect. When you throw that away, you've thrown away a good deal of your salary. In the environment, other people around it. Four of Swords. Four of Swords, last card I wanted to see in this reading in that position because Four of Swords is about rest, retreat, contemplation. I guess if I can think about it. When you have any hope that there might be somebody who has the 
chutzpah to take these entitled clowns on, Congress, Judiciary Committee, and that sort of stuff, we're getting the Four of Swords. They're not going to do anything. They're just going to, oh, tisk tisk, isn't that too bad? And, you know, a few sound bites on MSNBC, but there's not going to be any anything substantial. You know, there's been noise floated this weekend that, you know, he might be uh, subpoenaed to come talk to Congress. Nah, it's not going to happen. I don't think, I don't think, and I'd love to be wrong. Please, please prove me wrong. In the hopes and fears, we have the Queen of Cups. And you can tell with his some of his um, speeches that he has given since his his fishing ex, exposition happened. Um, he is very, very, very offended that anybody would think poorly of him. And of course, he's entitled to free private jet travel to Alaska to a fly-in, fly-out fishing camp because, well, he is who he is. Right, and that people would call him on it, and there would be criticism of him and a question about his ethic. He is very, very offended. So, what does he want from the Queen of Cups? He wants a compassion and understanding of how difficult it is to live his life, and to have the serenity of knowing that he is, you know, unblemished in the high esteem that society offers him and to be comforted by this kind of nurturing that's all right you deserve it you are after all a justice of the nation final outcome eight of wands this is about rapid change and it happens fast so okay i really thinking kind of in conflict with that environment card, right? Are we going to have fast action and change, or is everybody going to retreat into their burrows and kind of hope that this storm blows over? Mm, I don't know, but there we have it. We have opposing energies. Um, yes, like I said, prove me wrong. Please prove me wrong. So, the page's message on this Thing as the strength card in a reversed position and uh, just a reminder there the page that we had was in the future position we had the page of swords it's all about communications and that sort of stuff and strength in a reverse is about you know self-doubt and cowardice right he he hides behind his wife and anything else that he can because essentially he's a coward at the bottom, you know, the part of this shame is is that he knows that what he is doing is wrong. He's not, uh, I mean, he has one of the best educations that you know, money can buy. and But he is so caught up into the materialism, right, that he has, you know, there are no lies bigger than the lies we tell ourselves. So it is this fundamental sense of like a cowardice and he knows that what he has done is wrong but he is never going to cop to it and the shadow card we have here we have is the magician and the magician is about manifestation and success and he is by any measure that you could ask he's a very successful man he has used his resourcefulness which includes access to power and the ability to smooth over people's lives in order to uh, manifest his will. And his will is, I'll go right back to those opening cards, is about the good life. He really is not that interested in making life better for the American people or being a guardian of the law. The law is a cudgel that he uses to beat up people that he doesn't think should have full equal rights. We saw that with the Dobbs decision, right? That women no longer have bodily autonomy and he had to go back to what was it, the 1700s to find the kind of legal precedent that he quoted. Yeah, that tells you a lot about 
Justice Alito. So is anything going to be done about this guy? There's going to be some noise. I don't think there's going to be sufficient numbers. I think there will be too many people that are hiding that, you know, whole four of swords. Well, you're just going to sit this one out, man. Um, but there's, there's current that people want this to change. But don't expect it in this Congress. We will have to wait till after the election. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. And that's the reading for today. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.